talked about how brain scanning has a data problem. And actually, the original cryogenic freezing techniques that were used to preserve bodies from many decades ago probably actually destroy some of the synapses. So cryogenic freezing on its own is not really a good enough solution to preserve someone for future brain scans. If you use embalming techniques like that startup Nectome, then you have a much better chance. Of course, the exponential growth of computing and data storage will make it more and more possible to actually store all the data needed from a brain scan. But in my opinion, we really need to understand the brain better before any of that's going to be useful. So high bandwidth brain computer interfaces are going to be really critical because that's the first connection that you can have between a human brain and the electronic world. And the brain computer interface technology is probably itself going to be a form of brain scan. And if we can get that to high bandwidth so you can transfer a lot of information in a short period of time, then it means we have a really good brain scan. So keep an eye out for high bandwidth BCI devices.